kids are arriving this day before the show. We are day before the show right now. It's a beautiful day. It has been raining every single day up until now, and it's like the sky has opened up. It's like it's, we're ready for live art to happen. Um, as students come in, you've got people cheering for them and excited, and everybody loves it. Everybody's excited to see each other and really pumped today to uh, get started with the show. I think everybody's really on the game for, for this evening. Have fun and enjoy yourselves and be safe. Uh, this is my friend Matt. Um, we met last year for uh, Live Art Tree of Life, and um, we were in the same um, jazz group, the jazz ensemble. And uh, so we played saxophone together. We both played alto saxophone throughout the whole year. Remind each other. I played saxophone with him since last year. He's my best friend. He always told me to do fun stuff. I just want him to have enough fun today in the show that he feels like he's ready to come back next year and bring a friend with him. One, two, three, four. So we have the rest of our family is here now. And I thought maybe we could welcome them all up front here. They're going to introduce themselves. And so this is our first rehearsal today with all of the students and all of the artists. We have the symphony in place. We've got the Upper East Side Band in place. We've got lights. We've got sound. And we're going to try to do a run through and see if we can get all the way through that show in the right amount of time. Because I want you to melt my face with your awesomeness. <laughs> I was anticipating love bombs, like no doubt, but I also wanted to give more this year. As a second year participant, I was like, how can I like contribute more? How can I collaborate more? How can I hug more people in two days? Hi! How are you? Working with all the kids who have disabilities, you actually don't know they have disabilities because they act like normal. <laughs> yeah. Whatever normal is means. normal. <laughs> We're all the same. We're just born different ways. On paper, this many children moving at one time with these incredible national artists, while we have children in the pit playing live instruments and students backstage helping run the show. On paper, that's, that's impossible. No, it can't be done. Writing thank you notes to the audience for coming to the show. <laughs> Just telling them how awesome they are for being here. And uh, it's pretty easy to do. So, yeah. I came down with my wife and I sat in the third balcony sobbing the entire time. It was the most profound live performance, ex creative expression that I have witnessed in a very, very long time, maybe ever. And all I could think the entire show was, how much do I have to pay Aaron to let me be a part of this next time? Live art somehow manages to fall like near the end of a tour for me when I'm exhausted and I'm played out and I get jaded by the industry and doing shows. And then I come here and a light is, is relit. The flame is relit by all these brilliant candles that are here. And it lights up my soul. And it gives me momentum to keep going in life. So live art is, is, is good for my soul as well. Things are looking up. kids with and without disabilities and hearing impairment and vision impairment putting them all together on the same team. Not only are there over 250 kids in the show but there's a hundred adults backstage that have been working with them all year getting them ready and then there's 200 volunteers here this weekend so all told it's like 500 people that make this one-time event possible. We got dancers, we got painters, we got singers, we got just sweet souls that want to express themselves. And I think every child, every student, every, every human being wants to feel seen and heard. I'm ready to dance and sing and paint. How about you, Zach? We go on stage together for all of our numbers, and 
we help each other out when one of us forgets the rhythms, the other will help out and we'll make sure that we're always paying attention and ready to work. And we sit together when we're not performing. So we're always hanging out. It's a really great friendship. It means a lot to me. In our classrooms, we talked about different facets of the soul. For example, empathy, kindness, helpfulness. It's been really beautiful to watch the students um, express what they think that looks like in real life. Like, what does it mean to them to be empathetic? And to understand that their soul is, is valuable, that they have something to offer the world. And in turn, that's made us feel that way too. I mean, I, at 30 years old, I feel like I have something to offer the world too, which is so cool that the students have taught us that. part of this this year with all of you with all of you here and it's just you know it really just I, I'm just so happy to be here in this community and I feel lucky to share this time with you The thing that's really magical about the faculty and staff around my art specifically is that they don't wait for somebody to tell them what is the right thing to do because they're so passionate and they're so committed to these kids. They hold space for these kids to grow and, and stand up tall and stretch out their arms. They're, they're cheerleaders, coaches, therapists, heroes, teachers. Did I say teachers already? They show up for these kids for months and months at a time, and then they're, they're on stage there right with them. It's super awesome. I feel upstaged a bit by the, by the staff. <laughs> what Spark seems to have done is galvanized a community. And, and, you know, it's a partnership that they're in with the city of Richmond not in any sort of political official way with, with the people of Richmond. They've entered into this partnership saying that we're going to lift kids up. We're going to lift them up through the arts. These kids are amazing. They're the greatest human beings you've ever met in your life. It doesn't matter where they have a special need or whether they're typically developing, they all have a passion for the arts and the most important thing is they all want to use what's inside themselves to better our community. I mean, what, if that's not a testament to what the next generation is going to be like, I don't know what is. Well, what Line Park means to me, everybody gets to have fun playing around, dancing, singing. It just makes you so energized. When I do it, I just think everything's real. I don't give up, I keep on going, I don't stop. I believe in like all my friends around me right now. I can't even say that it's cracked my heart open. It's more, um, it's filling the cracks, is what it's doing. And I know it sounds trite, you know, but, but the truth is, is that I, and I think I could probably speak for every musician here and every teacher here, we're the lucky ones. And I'm not sure this is for the kids. I think maybe it's for us. <laughs> lucky enough to be able to be behind the curtain and see the kids' faces, it will change your life. They're so proud not just of what they've done, but what their friends have done and what they have helped their friends do. It's where the magic happens, is right at that moment. with how it went. We hope that the audience leaves feeling excited and energized. And I feel inspired. It was so much fun. This is my second year doing it. 
I'm gonna do it next year. I already know it. Um, I, I I loved it. It was amazing. It's probably the most exhilarating experience of my life because I've never had so much fun in two hours ever. It's always been the best thing ever. Ever. I hope that they don't create that this is ending when the curtain closes, you know? That they can close their eyes and, and be here with their friends and be here with these artists and I hope that they really feel this forever. They're just like so proud of themselves. It's exactly what I was like hoping to see in their faces and they're proud of each other and all the artists feel like we got a chance to be part of something that's just so unique and so rare and so soulful. 250 people on stage at one time, and it was all of us on the same page to just express ourselves and to connect with each other and to bring the audience into whatever we were doing. And that was our job to make. <laughs>